it's the ICOM IC 2100H and um, you plug it in turn it on sounds terrible ooh does it sound terrible let's check it out All right, I have the IC 2100H hooked up to power on my trusty electro and power it up take it up to just a little over uh, 10 volts test 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 Radio has an external mic uh, speaker jack on the back, so I went ahead and plugged in um, to it. I've got my little plugs all hooked up on a Motorola speaker sitting here. So according to me, there should be a difference in sound. And immediately, I don't know if the audio is being picked up on the recording the same, but immediately it sounds much cleaner now let's listen to the audio with the voice KG5 JMV testing testing equipment one two three it's a uh, big difference So it has a tin box sound and muffled sound. Thank you for helping me fix my speaker on my IC2100H. So I decided to use NOAA and monitor and listen in on the audio and you can see or hear a big difference when I plug in the external speaker versus the speaker that's installed. So quick Schematics easy fix, out. let's do it. Looks like it's going to be pretty simple. The speaker's right on top, it's just mounted right in the center of the housing well not the exact center but pretty much in the center I'm looking at everything else here in the schematic and it doesn't look like there's anything above it Alright, it's really easy getting in and removing the speaker. You'll notice there's a bushing or a seat that's a bib for the magnet on the opposite side of the speaker. You will have to find a speaker that fits that or remove it. So here's the speaker that I've taken out and on the back the uh, magnet's a certain size it fits right into that seat so it does come out you can see here it sticks to the magnet or comes out but you probably won't want other any other metal touching the board or floating around in there 
This is designed to hold it steady, so you will need to find a speaker to replace it that probably fits the seat, is the right diameter, and the right height, because of course you want the lid to go back on flush. So I took out the speaker. I have it hooked up here to some leads that lead to my trusty Motorola test speaker. And this is the do or die point. This is the point where we could have a bad final or a bad component on the board. And no matter what comes out of this line, I mean what's connected to this line, good speaker or bad speaker, it's still going to sound bad. So this is the test that will let us know if it's the speaker that's bad or if we have a more serious problem. From noon today to 6 a.m. Mountain Daylight Time Friday. Additional details. Temperatures will be hottest in urbanized areas. Temperatures will rise quickly in the afternoon hours and remain hot through the late evening. Drink plenty of fluids. Stay in an air-conditioned room. Young children and pets should never be left unattended in vehicles under any circumstances. Take extra precautions if you work or spend time outside. When possible, reschedule strenuous activities to early morning or evening. No and symptoms of heat exhaustion and heat stroke. Okay, we lucked out. It was a bad speaker. So the speaker is bad. There's something wrong with it that cause it to, causes it to sound like a tin box. And we'll replace it. The other alternative would be if you didn't want to dig deeper, if it was something bad on the board and you didn't want to dig deeper, well, you'd just use an external speaker. But in this case, we're going to be able to fix it and replace the speaker.